thanks to some other people that were involved in it also that it's nothing to worry about because it's gonna happen so many things that people like me are just gonna disappear and this and that one of the protagonists of me disappearing also was Prince Harry Buckingham Palace Prince Charles uh, this is the kind of parasites that love to have everything for free they love to have done everything with the stroke of the pen these are the people that know price of everything and value of nothing they are freeloader parasites is basically what they are lazy good for nothing most of the articles that I have written on my news site you know who gave me the ideas and information for for this articles it was the politicians themselves they did not took only eleven and a half years of my life subjected me to worst torture possible to MK Ultra uh, through the terror literally through the terror which they have turned into reality afterwards so I would go and they would trigger the memories and the stuff they have done to me and pretty much wrote what the stuff they have given me to write about it sounds crazy but it's true why would they do such a thing why they do this stuff like this Ang uh, Angela Merkel stated to me if nobody talks about there is no way the progress can be made so if somebody is talking about things like that the progress is made if you look at the MK Ultra, you know, in respect to this last sentence paragraph, if you like, if you look at the MK Ultra, which they have designed from A, from point A to Z, uh, different stages. I will not forget Netanyahu, what Netanyahu told me, not too far from here. He said, uh, I see you in, I don't know, 11, 12 years or something like this, and uh, at this exactly the same spot you're gonna go through all these stages and then we're gonna meet and you're gonna be again yourself and that pretty much exactly what have happened they have totally designed I'm talking about Netanyahu now here Netanyahu's got the least to do with this whole thing the main actors here in this whole thing are Putin Merkel and also something Macron but the main thing here was concentrated on Putin and Merkel from the background you had Bush you had Trump McCain you have all these politicians American politicians in Buckingham Palace who promoted this type of politics that is happening what's happening is happening they exactly designed stages which I would go through it started with defense of the so-called white people of uh, you know with the hatred against the Israel because the Israel did problems to me so they know exactly how it's gonna happen it's gonna go into a Nazism it's gonna go into a hatred and then through the different stages I would as I would gain knowledge and see things different my opinion of course would change hopefully thankfully it did in some people it doesn't because they don't really understand what's happening anyways they just stick to their points of view because they're unwilling to they're not flexible they are not willing to adopt to changes to new views new opinions and so on but my it did exactly according to MK Ultra exactly as they have created schedule of events and they have told me in particular when you will be advocating a white cause uh, this uh, white rights in south africa wh white genocide in south africa nazism and all this we are going to be advocating exactly the opposite and that's basically how it's going to start you create negative opinion about yourself in a public they create the, exactly the opposite side once your views change and you start to advocate the other side because you see actually what's happening what what was done to you uh, if you don't know what was done to me I can tell you that Sia got me in 96 at the beginning of the 96 and brainwashed me severely through the use of extreme violence into 
white, I'm not going to say white nationalism, but rather Nazism, very bad things. Uh, once you're going to start to advocate the other side, that's when we're going to start, because you have created a negative opinion about yourself, start to advocate what actually is happening right now. And what's happening right now, you pretty much can see it. Germans are impatient. Uh, they are basically calling for neo-Nazism across the Europe quite openly. They have opened their AfD, neo-Nazi political parties. You have a Trump in the US. You have a Putin over there in the Russia who wants to be a Tsar. He's got his... Uh, <laughs> I see it a little bit negative because they have explained to me that Serbian Chetniks are affiliated to the Cossacks. And I was not impressed the last time when I saw this Cossacks whipping, whipping Russian people when they come out on the streets of the Moscow to express their own opinion, their own views. I wasn't impressed with Cossacks in that in that aspect, I was not impressed. I always was impressed with these people. I like it very much. But now, when I remind myself of how they have attempted to interpret Chetniks along with Cossacks, uh, I just got to say that I am not impressed with it, just as I would not be impressed with Ustashas or Domobranats and so on. I would not be impressed. I'm not impressed with this kind of politic. But it is happening. And it's happening open. You can see it. You don't have to look for the news to find something. You can see that now already in the mainstream media. So they have totally anticipated. Once I'm going to do this, they're going to advocate this. Once you're going to do that, we're going to advocate that. And so on and so forth. Very well scheduled according to MK Ultra. If you don't believe me, you can go through my videos. You can go exactly see how the MK Ultra was designed per political views. And you're going to see how my stance have changed and what their stance have changed based on those. You don't have to be the biggest one uh, to uh, for these people to follow you. You just need to be out there. Uh, you need to talk about and when you were used in the center of all this, these politicians have gathered in this house, what matters to them the most is that the politicians that were here, politicians that did gather with them, that they were in this circle where I was, they had me in this circle, what matters to them is that they see it basically. And based on that stuff, they push their agenda. You don't have to be the biggest one. You just have to be there and talk about it. And as long as you talk about uh, they push their things forward because they push their things forward to the governments. They push their things forward to the people that count on political stage. And it doesn't matter what the person is talking about. It's who handles the progress, who is pulling the strengths, basically. Uh, and so this was one of the reasons. The second reason why they would do that kind of stuff is because they're lazy. <laughs> These are lazy bastards, good for nothing. Alcoholics, lazy, good for nothing. They barely handle their daily duties. They barely go and shave themselves, appear themselves at work in the state offices and so on. Uh, they need some form of motivation. And the best motivation for the Putin, that's when I'm going to go to the Putin, was that he hated people that would contribute to success for the Russian people, to, to technology, free technology they got from the West, from military to medical, financial resources and so on. And yet all these girls that were involved in it, you were able to see the Belarus couple Nastya Ripka, how she ended over there in Thailand, in the jail, in the prison, with her boyfriend. Uh, there were many other people like this, some of which don't even have toilets inside of their homes. They have to go out, that's right, out. Every time, whenever they have an urge to release themselves, they have to walk out of the homes to, to release themselves. Unbearable conditions, totally uncivilized. 
and it's people who sacrifice their lives. Some people ended in a mental hospitals afterwards. And I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking also about other people because of the stuff they have done, because of the stuff they got involved was actually so very bad stuff. They have seen a lot of things that was done to me, very bad things. And they have seen probably stuff that was done to other people. And they have seen stuff, you know, all kinds of stuff. And they kind of a lost will for life, appetite to live, literally. And so these people were just left behind in a dust because Putin felt that if he cannot enjoy, if he cannot... Uh, you know, if I cite his word, nothing till the job is done, nothing till the job is finished. For some people, for other people, he just want to get rid of them. Like the less people knew about it, the less witnesses, the better he's off. It's pretty much how Putin thinks. Okay, I want to clarify, really clarify the issue in respect to nothing till the job is done. I want to have this in the last detail because it might be people that might actually think that Putin uh, lives in a self-deprivation. I mean, the stuff that mainstream media is building around Putin is just, it, it's a diarrhea. It's a total diarrhea. It's totally opposite of what individual is. And he depicts himself in the society as totally, totally unreal. Totally the opposite of what he truly is. He is completely different. Putin... Uh, when he was here, th actually there was no work. Uh, it made an impression on people that this guy is... Uh, it, 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 it was nothing else, let's put it this way, it was nothing else than swimming, uh, potting, hoarding around, that's all there was. Uh, women, 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 and uh, take me to the beautiful locations uh, in Croatia and a lot in the Italy. He spent a lot of time with Berlusconi, and you know Berlusconi is famous for his wild parties. Roma, 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 he was crazy. Putin was crazy about the Rome. That's when he was here. He could not wait to go to his uh, France Berlusconi whoring and whoring and whoring around it was here whoring around it was there whoring around if he can steal something from you he will go and he will steal it the guy is mentally sick I'm telling you this is not a joke he actually have stolen from someone even a ring over there in the USA uh, what was it a ring from uh somebody golden ring from what is it nba whatever i don't care what that was but this is blatantly sick but this is what he is he he will steal anything he can steal it from you um ideas if you have an idea if he sees something unique from someone the only thing he's going to do is he will steal it from you and even make it disappear if it has to from my father here we had generations in this family fished in this river here and we fished and we still fish on a specific floater and that floater is made out of uh, bird wings either is a turkey or or from the chicken uh, when you, you pull one of those uh, from the wing, I don't know how I call that, in Slovenian, pero, and you clean the thing up, and it's a beautiful, beautiful floater. <laughs> um, I was in Belarus in 2017. The only thing I have seen in the Belarus, and Putin alone told me that, in the Vitebsk, all the stores, they have a top line now. They have a whole little industry now. They produce this type of uh, handmade, basically kind of handmade 
uh, floaters. They are the best, by the way, but this is not Belarusian thing. But Putin said to me, thanks to your father, this is going to be, it's going to be like this thing was made in the Belarus. This is something from the Belarus. So what he does is he actually goes around and he actually even steals cultural shit from other people, from other nations, brings back and start to depict to the foreign people, Americans and Germans and whoever goes there as something from locals and shit like this. It was the same shit. It was the same shit with... Uh... <sighs> My father is very talented when it comes to... Um... I say that polyaderstvo, um, sadiarstvo, um, fruit related. Uh, it's called fruit growing. Uh, a little bit primitive to me, it sounds like, but it's called fruit growing. Uh, since I was a child, uh, all the strawberries, uh, basically to stop invasive, invasive um, plants, from creating problems for let's say strawberries what he would do is he would cut uh, in a foil a hole where which one he would reserve for the strawberries and with a foil automatically what we would do it would stop invasive plants around those strawberries and uh, it would be very successful like this more food for the strawberries no competition and it would grow very well and so he had people here from the russia ruskis and from the belarus and the only thing they would do is they would write down write down whatever they do whatever he said whatever he said he would go with them to the belarus he was there and all uh, stuff that he knew his expertise he would give them and they said it, it didn't matter uh, the, uh, Putin in charge people uh, some disagreed with it and this and that they looked strange stuff uh, stuff like this this isn't by the way that my father invented or anything like this stuff I'm talking about is done in California uh, he got it from the West it was just my father was interested in these things uh, is, is, is a member of certain fruit growing society here in Slovenia and so on so it's not something that he would do but he is quite talented when it comes to certain principles in fruit growing that's his passion always was his passion uh, the thing about it is that when I was in 2017 uh, I totally recognized the girl that was involved in this MK Ultra that uh, I knew immediately my father was there because strawberries uh, uh, berries and so on I knew exactly what went on I reminded myself I saw it she had this I went around in that area and other people already had that probably Putin is gonna say it's original thing it's a Belarus thing it's a Russian thing no it's not I mean Putin is just uh, he'll just go and he'll just steal from you he's a thug he's a thief and uh, you will have basically nothing out of it and you'll be lucky if you stay alive basically it's just that type of person he is a womanizer a hoarder uh lives extravagant life does not want to pay for the shit. state people paid here for everything for him everything was just given to him given to him it was just it's like, it's like uh see something uh don't don't uh, he will not he'll not say how much he'll just look at you if you're a state person and the only thing you're gonna do as a state person you're gonna look at that person who sells that or woman and you're gonna you're gonna do like this i mean this is the type of person putin is let's stress things out let's call them off of what it is guy is mentally sick sick wealthy but very very mentally sick he lost through the yukos <laughs> uh was blah 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 here in slovenia how good economy is this, how smart this and that how he knows how he watches everything he lost over there i don't know how many billion dollars went like this <sighs> into the dust came here and they were buying from ebay and have demanded from me 
basically started to molest me under MK Ultra. Listen to this shit on how I should go and fight for every dime, for every cent, whenever I'm buying anything from the eBay. And people started to laugh at him and he completely ridiculed himself. Uh, I'm not going to say who, but very important um, economists here in this region here, very talented people, smart people. We have a very smart people here in Novo Mesto. We do. They were like, like this almost. They, they couldn't believe the stuff they saw on our Americans and shit like this and everybody knew it it was it was total it's like it, it's 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 uh, he is unbalanced he is unbalanced he's not capable to uh use the common sense he's not capable under the pressure to use the common sense the common logic um it's unrealistic he's unwilling to see other people same as uh basically the stuff costed him and so on the stuff he went through or something like this but it's just it's bizarre it's a bizarre thing it's nothing about uh that he would deprive himself of something and stuff like this no man the guy is the guy lives alive in a luxury even now the truth what he stated to me i don't know if this is true this is what the russian people know more than i do is that he suggested that here was laxed but he spent a lot of time last year with Americans. He said, but now, he said, I have to go back to Russia. That's when I have to work hard. I don't know anything about this stuff. I have no clue about this stuff. I can tell you about Putin. I can be his personal biographer. You have no idea when you subject somebody to MK Ultra what that person can pick. You have no clue about it. How that works, I'm going to explain to you. I'm just going to give you an example. You get into this high club in this high society, okay? It wasn't like this at all from the West. Elon Musk is multi-billionaire, and the only thing he did is he came a couple of times here to Slovenia in this house here with his politicians. And being around them, they throw them offers on a the table. They loaded him with the cash. For nothing he had done, he became a millionaire. There were a few billionaires. There were a few others like this. Now you have a girl from the Russia, let's say. I'm not going to say who she is. I'm not going to say anything. Started to live this, hmm, I'm not going to say high life, but around these people, you know, you have hotels paid, you meet the politicians, you go on a party, you do stuff that is otherwise totally not, uh, without a rich, to casual people, to, to regular people. And now all of a sudden you see totally different things. They throw you on a table offers to conceive children with, with politicians. There are all kinds of crazy stuff that goes on. They pay you the money, they do this, they do that. You see yourself, life is nice, it's cool, it's easy, it's wonderful. You are an important person. Operation ends, you become again nobody. All of a sudden you wake up in a world, you turn around and you see all this is all gone and you are again same or same you. Now you have to, you just realize that you have done ocean of mistakes, catastrophe. You look around and you see the stuff that have happened to other people. You look around and you are in the middle of the nothing again. Everything is gone. You look elsewhere and you see the same people uh, still in this high political positions and so on. Uh, it can be depressive. You know, it was not for me. I, for me, depression never existed, really. I don't know what depression is, to tell you the truth. I have gone through much, I guess, in my life. So I'm tough. I'm person. I deal with it. I let it go. I move on with life, but lots of people get stuck because these are called issues. And if you're not really good manipulator with the issues, if you don't know how to handle them, deal them, deal with them, you get stuck and it gets tough. So yeah, some people even ended in psychiatric temporary 
psychiatric asylum till they come to the senses and they actually woke up that it's time to move on with their lives because there ain't nothing you can do about you get it so this is it was all kinds of stuff uh, like this after I met the people that were involved in these things it was very difficult for them to um, you heard about Berlusconi wild parties in Italy one of the girls very valuable every one of these people by the way that work that participated from Russia they wanted the best for their country valuable people all of them good people nice people I just want to say this thing not all of them were nice people no sorry but confused rather than nice let's say good people but totally confused on issues completely basically brainwashed on how to see things brainwashed to the point of one of the girls in respect to Berlusconi party okay so you want to say that I don't know about this stuff have gone sold eggs and I know the amount of money for how much and so on and so forth Italy so um, what Putin is doing the stuff that Putin is doing actually is sickening this individual is sick heavily sick he does not reward the people he does not pay not reward the people but he does not pay he does not give people due uh, to what they're due uh, for the work performed for the participation and he tends to actually deprive them uh, because he finds the joy in human suffering this is why I don't like the guy I don't like the guy because guys guy is sick and all the Americans everybody can tell you British everybody can tell you these things okay so uh, this kind of stuff the stimulus uh, somebody that is pretty much calling them for what they really are for what you know I was able to observe them under MK Ultra with my own views with my own questions when they were questioning me I have questioned them and I also studied their response you know when they gave me a question I wonder myself why this kind of question where would this kind of question where would this kind of question come from what would the person think how would the person think why would he ask me questions like that and so on and so forth and so I learned a lot about these people and so that helped the third the third because they expected from me like I said they incited me to write bad things about them uh, didn't mind they really wanted me to expose them really and so they could suggest other state people employees that they are fucked basically if the plan is not gonna get through what's gonna happen with us this and that the guy is pointing out us he is disclosing to the world about this cooperation between the US Russia UK and so on so they use that as a measure as a pressure uh, on other state people uh, there you go that was number three I think all right let me give you a little more idea about this and that okay uh, in the West in so-called democracies you have variety of political parties you do no you do not you just have different names for the political parties but when it comes to the top when it comes to the leadership okay believe me they all serve same one one the same interest that I'm gonna tell you and when the opportunity comes by <laughs> uh, there ain't no political party that is gonna that is not gonna jump on that wagon I'll tell you that okay uh, or it's done at least in a way that they do have the majority so they get that things going you can see what's happening in Italy by the way it's uh, exactly what I'm talking about exactly what I'm talking about okay so uh, when you have politics like this and uh, you know this main actor state people will go and they'll, they'll tell other politicians other political parties 
uh, look, this is what's happening. If we do it, we're going to get this and this and this and this and that. Uh, if we're not going to do it, what's going to happen is uh, uh, this thing on a global scale is not going to get through. And you know, uh, it's not only the political parties that don't that don't want to be part of the problem when it comes to the stuff like this. Not even the countries dare to stand up against stuff like this. Even the countries submit to this type of politic that otherwise have advocated other uh, ideologies. You have the Eastern Europe here in Slovenia was blah 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 blah. They played here like every Sunday about uh, you know songs uh, in Yugoslavia about the liberation about the partisans tra la 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 for like 60 years and right now all of a sudden you can go and you can see they, they started to rebuild castles it's a different era if it's it's a different stage of the politic that is coming they are leaning toward the right it's not really right because it's a controlled opposition is what it is. It's not really it's not really left and it's not right. This is just a Balkan mafia here what we have here in Slovenia. If you want to see the real communism, you go to China and you see how things are done actually. How the justice system works and everything else. And the progress of the country can be seen. It's exploding compared to what we have here. We are going backwards really not forwards. We do have here goodies from the West, but that actually does not standardize the progress of the country. The progress of the country is based on evolution of the country, of capacity, ability to compete with the West, uh, be self-sustainable, and so on and so forth. And on that scale, we are lagging behind. We're going backwards again. There's no doubt about that. Okay, so that's pretty much what I meant by, you know, by this paragraph. Number four. Yeah, they wanted me to write bad, 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 bad. Um, well, Prince Harry stated like this. I think he said up to how much money and he stated like hundred million or something like this uh, he was around that then he stated like I don't know 500 million then they said something like maybe 2 billion something like this and then it was like you know it will be the best we just make him disappear because he's gonna want more money and stuff like this it's gonna be about the money and stuff like that uh, I always was about the money. I was always about the money. I, I don't know who that is normal out there is not about the money. I mean, you go, you work hard, you go like I did, you go to work 20 hours a day, 7 days a week on a ship uh, that you have your feet bleeding the whole, your crazy stuff that some people stop, like they cancel the contract like after 3 days. They leave, they left like after 3 days. Most of the people left like after within the last than a week, probably about 70% of the people already left. It was just few whacks like myself that have insisted to work and work and work and make the money. Now you do something, if you don't charge for that, you're just crazy. That's basically how I see it. So I don't know, I don't actually know who is it out there that doesn't, uh, doesn't want to get paid for the job done, for the stuff, for the sacrifice and so on. You know anybody? I do not. Uh, Prince Harry was very insultive to me. It was like under MK Ultra challenge mentally. Uh, at the end of MK Ultra, I'm gonna write you a check for like uh, I don't know 50 or 100 million dollar, uh, and you're gonna say no to that. Uh, and you, but you're gonna say no to that. But you're gonna say no to that. And it was all oh, he kept repeated repeated this like thousand times this kind of stuff and then they they suggested me to take a bread and actually throw him like this crumbs like this suggesting him that i want more and stuff like that crazy shit uh but yeah real uh 
the best for these people. Uh, it came to like, yeah, it would be just, uh, he's going to be asking for too much and this and that. And then, Well, like I said, uh, if you don't ask, if you don't charge, uh, you don't just because you're an idiot. Uh, these people do absolutely nothing. Most of the people involved were billionaires, have done absolutely nothing, uh, are billionaires, a lot for nothing, basically. And I had less than nothing for tremendously a lot, let's say. Okay, I'm not going to say that things like this could not happen without me. Uh, this is not what I'm going to say. But I don't actually know when comparing Buckingham Palace and Russians and Americans and Germans and everybody else, which one of these people have done anything compared to me. I had the news, I had the media running, I had videos, I was subjected to the most severe torture. I should not even be doing this kind of stuff based on what they have done to me. Yet I did it. And so why would I want to go and just reject basically what is rightfully mine? I don't. I will not. I don't care. I don't know how this is going to end. But for me, voluntarily, nobody is going to obtain any uh, admission as per you know, I don't want or I don't care or something like this. Of course I care. And I always will care. I care about absolutely everything. Uh, so what we do is we basically, uh, it becomes too expensive. Another thing is he talks, he will talk the stuff like this. So we, we're going to have to make him disappear. If individual would stay around, uh, he will also be dangerous for us and so on and so forth. So wealthy and dangerous for us oh this is what Americans were panicked about this is what Americans were this is what this is what McCain and this is what Gingrich this is what the Romney uh, uh, Trump Trump jr uh, wealthy and dangerous for us we're gonna watch we're gonna see we're gonna how you're gonna this and that if you're gonna threaten and you will this and you will that and it will be no money. However, my biggest fear was that world would get me wrong based on what was done to me. I don't give something, my friends, for nothing. I make sure that you will pay uh, exactly what you owe me. And I'm going to make damn sure that the world would not misunderstood what went on uh, you know, for some kind of, uh, you know, teeth per tat like, uh, you know, change, like a pocket money or something like this. No such thing here. No free loading here. No such thing. Uh, the faster that you pay what you owe, the better you're off. Uh, in the opposite case, the only thing that happens is it drags on. Uh, it exposes more and more. Uh, charge, basically, the interest rates. And it doesn't matter to me how long this is going to take. That's my system. All these politicians, they want something for nothing. They wanted credits. Uh, my father insisted. Trump told my father to go to Sebnica. Uh, and father started with this paranoia, with this schizophrenia, political schizophrenia, on how he has to get the license from the... Uh, Sebnica. That's where Melania Trump is. That's where the money supposedly would be for me and stuff like that. So what they wanted to do is they wanted to just hush, hush, say nothing, see nothing, be quiet, hush, just hush. They all wanted something for nothing basically. And <laughs> at no surprise Bush was like never say about uh, talk about the Trump all you want to talk about the Trump when it comes to Ukraine but don't even think about mentioning again about that it was under my administration that I was the one who have authorized transfer of American technology NATO technology to the Russia to the Moscow so they could start the aggression against Ukraine they all wanted they all wanted their ways they all wanted something for nothing but nobody wanted to give anything. 
And if you give something for nothing, you are just a plain idiot. This is basically how I see it. A healthy mind, uh, when it comes to the stuff like this, is going to rip you apart. The idiot is going to go and is going to settle for the MK Ultra lies, which I never ever did, never will. I'm just being realistic here, that's all. George W. Bush invested in steel industry, aluminum, minerals in Russia heavily. One of the first, first uh, Putin insisted to me when they do stuff like this, uh, you know, transfer military technology to us for free, all kinds of technology. It was not only about the military technology. It's basically stolen from the U.S. government. When it was stuff like this, uh, I talked to Duma, I talk, and uh, we let them do stuff like this for the people like that. Donald Trump paid Mr. Bornstein, I don't know how much he paid him for the trips here, was it per hour or whatever it was. Mr. Bornstein was making not even dimes compared to what Trump did. Trump made multi-billion dollar deals. You're not talking about when you say, I don't know about Trump, but I know that George Bush is worth billions and billions of dollars. These are not multi-millionaires. You're talking about multi-billionaires. Uh, what is written in the news in the media, it's like Schwarzenegger told me, we don't, you know, sometimes it comes to the, up to, it turns into the settlements with women and this and that, and it might be other settlements that can be involved against us. And so what we do is we don't, public doesn't know really how much, it's not really disclosed how much we actually money, how much money we actually have. This is a brutal truth also about the IRS because it would be really, really good to know from the IRS point of view uh, how much do they pay to the US taxpayers uh, out of their pockets. Uh, IRS, it's IRS actually covering up the truth about American billionaires. Uh, the question, these are a lot of questions here uh, in respect to these people, these people pay uh, their taxes uh, and so on and it, and the final it comes to the final question is if they do not then who owns United States of America do you understand the question the the point here about what I'm talking about if there are people that do not pay taxes if they are excused from taxes uh, they shelter money in foreign countries that US government deliberately doesn't see these people practically own the country. That's a theft of the country, basically, is what we are talking about here. Stuff about, they insisted, everybody wanted me to talk about, and Germans, and Norwegians, and British, and others. Who brought into this kind of crisis? Who created this kind of crisis? You're going to say, American billionaires, together with oligarchs. They would bring together this industrial people and they would have them uh, do business with one another, basically surpassing population and just doing businesses on the side and basically deciding completely about what's going to be with the people and stuff like that. That's they wanted me to talk about. This definitely is true to the certain extent. Uh, However, this totally reveals that the U.S. government actually doesn't have a control uh, over this wealthy people, with this oligarchs. Uh, they say about, they talk about the sanctions. I think it's again very unrealistic. Um, we don't actually know anything about really what's going on at this point. The only thing I can tell you is, like on your laptop, it's you have a feature in control panel that says background services are running. A lot of these background services are running. We don't know nothing about really what's going on. That's the only thing I can tell you. 
billionaires with the billionaires yes 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 that's true they do that and they can, because they can do it because they have the money so they do it and so on and so forth but that gives these people certain privileges over the rest of the population uh, and the question is who is controlling all this thing then who what's happening here are we still talking about the US government or we are talking about the mafia about the mobsters like Donald Trump that are just doing business on the sites the way they want passing the laws regulations and everything uh, at their advantage uh, in the mainstream media I don't actually see anything else but lie I've not seen anything realistic like Donald Trump first time met Putin Vladimir Putin and stuff like that it's just totally crazy bizarre shit like uh, Donald Trump might have met Vladimir Putin one time and stuff like that that's sick folks it's uh, a sand in your eyes it's a mud in your eyes it's a lie atop of the lie that's all there is to it when it comes to Trump and his ex personal physician Dr. Bornstein again a very decent very nice person is this doctor very beautiful very beautiful individual in my opinion uh, he paid him per hour per hours he was begging him Dr. Bornstein he couldn't see my father he couldn't stand him nobody could stand him I explain all this stuff in continuation uh, Trump please 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 uh, 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 do it do it do it you we have to finish this please I know it's weird around here this and that uh, you gotta help me out this and that please do it <laughs> at the same time he was paying him per hour I don't know how much he was paying him really uh, at the same time Donald Trump was <laughs> signing a multi-billionaire multi-billion dollar contracts with the Russians and also Chinese Chinese were here too and as you know uh, there is something little that is disclosed uh, on the internet about the Trump's investment into China yeah, well, nothing really in respect to Russia I mean this is a, such a world of lies that is unbelievable and so I can kind of understand Dr. Bornstein when he when he stated that he suggested also in respect to other issues of course that somebody gets inside of your office and ransacks the whole place and does whatever they are pleased without without any lawful order anything warrant search something whatever it's a burglary basically is what it is intrusion of privacy extreme intrusion of privacy burglarize burglar and burglarizing individual like this uh, but also in respect to this <laughs> but our wages probably is what he got that's what he got that's what Bor dr. Bornstein told me he said rather than to sit in my office in the US uh, I think I kind of assume that Donald Trump basically paid him the same amount of money therefore per hour I don't know how much money he made but you know doing the shit like this cover up for somebody <laughs> expose yourself <laughs> to this type of circumstances and basically <laughs> get nothing not even a peanuts uh, next to the individual that is using you for uh, we don't know nothing really about the Trump how much money he has in China and Russia do we nothing we don't know anything about it uh, something for nothing did not only apply to the politicians it applied to the local police department which I'm visiting right now but I think they got a the wrong idea why I'm visiting one uh, they do have promised the officers that were in charge of this thing the officers that gave extra support to Vladimir Putin to security here special detail it's called a special detail they too all suggested me they're gonna give me a list of the things that I'm gonna go and look for and it's gonna be done and we're gonna help you this and that tra la 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 Berger too suggested on how he's gonna get the other neighbor on a camera and stuff like this just be quiet I have no idea a psychiatrist Muja suggested and he was he was friendly you know he was like friendly guy in a psychiatry 
but that's not the point. He also suggested, I'm not going to be the one who's going to give you your troubles. It's going to be other psychiatrists that, that want you. It's they are after you, not me. I'm going to actually help you. Uh, the thing is that everybody wanted something for nothing. And if you would settle for this something for nothing, you would be an idiot. It would, this case would not exist. It would be nothing. Now go and see yourself in a situation as I was, thrown in the middle of the ocean without nothing, just an issue floating around you to eat you out for 12 years and swim to the shore. Whatever you try to grab on, you think you would grab on to when you see it and it's nothing else than an empty bag of lice did you try to grab onto now this is determination now, this is a genius that made me this is what made me lies from these people is what made me that's what based shaped my character my personality reality I'm a real person I'm not a junkie I'm not a loser I'm not I'm not I'm not a believer in lies a lunatic, a paranoid, a schizophrenic individual who sees something that does not exist. It's exactly the opposite. They were performing everything possible. They were performing a political schizophrenia to make me see things that did not exist and do not exist. They did this stuff. They insisted on it and they used extreme methods, violence even to subject me, to somehow break my will, to make me somehow believe in their word of lies. Anything, any kind of belief in their lies would be a good sign. So far they did not succeed with absolutely anything and I doubt they ever will with anything. This is how these things happen uh, but it really doesn't have absolutely anything to do with not a Buckingham Palace, not the US, not Germany, not Italy, not anybody else. The whole thing was nothing more than a lie designed to protect Russia. Reputation from the Russia, reputation from the Serbia, from the Belgrade, because they want new USSR and new Yugoslavia because they have made deal with them. They didn't make deal with the Poles or Ukrainians or others whom by the way they have gotten John McCain got them John McCain is individual that he will place a hidden cameras then what he's gonna do is he's gonna invite you inside he's gonna make you an offer you're gonna agree to that offer he's gonna video record you the next thing he's gonna do is he's gonna take the video recording to the party against whom he just got you on his side and he's gonna F you pointing out the video recording about you to them and he's gonna handshake and basically the principle is very easy he works on a such principle that when you're small he wants the admission for you uh, that he can use with a bigger party the one that he needs to participate in something so he can get that something done you understand so the small one will always get effed. That's how John McCain does. That's how they got. That's how they spread the lies about me. That's how they did all that stuff. Example from my own case. I'm gonna give you. Uh, John McCain's. John McCain makes the issue. Uh, in Miami, he got the neo Nazis. He got Nick Griffin from Britain. He got Don Black. He got David Duke. He got Craig Cop. He got a whole pack of neo-nazis stop neo-nazis together at the same time simultaneously to that they would use a group of a minority group that would go and they would blatantly insult you what they would do is they would blatantly assault you they insulted me based on my national origin slow as slovenian that's step number one step number two logically what you would do if you're a normal person 
you're not you would not allow anybody to um, to degrade you based on your sexual orientation or national ori uh, origin or uh, you know racial religious whatever it is issue nobody's saying should allow to be insulted to be degraded based on that nor did I once they obtain a negative reaction to it once you you go tit for tat once you return the favor with insult you already are recorded on a video camera parallel insults followed in my case from the neo-nazi side that's when again I was insulted as per being nothing Slovenian is Slovenian it's dirty it's no good it's I don't know what Nick Griffin have explained to me about British have explained to me and uh, Americans did David Duke and so on and so forth and what you do is again you return the favor the same way the next thing what they do is they subject you to MK Ultra to electroshocks and they tell you under electroshocks there are two things that happen one is they tell you uh, if you're gonna do it again if you're gonna when you when you get insulted if you're gonna return back it's gonna be more of electroshocks it's gonna be more violence against you then you have a seer that suggests on the side that they are impressed with your views and what they do is they make you hate even more uh, people of color of colors uh, Hispanics blacks and so on it would have me repeat stuff that is too much disgusting for me to even say here live on a camera but this is basically how they do it and the whole thing again repeats and you return them back because you feel you have the right to return back and you feel you have the right to return back because you are the one they insulted first but they are video recording this stuff and mark of southern poverty law center who was involved all along from the very beginning explained to me from very beginning that i will be the one who will lose on when i answered him that it's impossible because it's not my fault you started first he explains you that because of the amount of electroshocks you no longer will ever know what happened and it is true they continue with the violence they video record the next thing they do is they use the video recording to suggest not only uh, Eastern Europeans, not only the people that they try to lure to the table, like they did through my case, not only to the Russians and I don't know whom, but they also go and they try to lure, lure, lure Chinese and uh, India people, they got also on the same bandwagon to the same thing practically suggesting selling me to everybody as an ultimate evil while the real evil hiding itself behind me and that's why we are today where we are that's how John McCain does and he did totally the same thing with Ukrainian and Polish people he offered them something that was he made, got them excited about something uh, got them to the table, video recorded them, and then went with a video recording to the Russians and got the deal from the Russians against them, basically covering them like when you bury someone, basically, like this, like they don't exist. Just basically bypass them, like you're nobody. So the whole nations, the whole countries, and the whole continents are thrown on a table, on a negotiation table. That's precisely how that was done, and that's how it's done. It doesn't matter really what you are, uh, what matters is that when you are small, you are just always guilty. You are never ever right. And the more the stuff they do to you, the more you hate, and that's precisely what they want. In the end, you're the one you lose. Pretty much this is how they do it. At least they have done it till my case came up.